Today I'm sharing 12 things you should never declutter. Look, I love having a clean and tidy home. However, there are a few things that you should hang on to. My advice is to not get rid of them, never get rid of them if you can help it. And I think if you start out with this list, it will actually be helpful to you if you're starting out with your decluttering and you're not sure what to give away. Maybe start with this list and start with what to keep. So we're not gonna have any decluttering regrets. I'm gonna go through this list. I'm gonna start with kind of like the small things and then I'm gonna work my way up to the even bigger things. So the first thing that I think you should never get rid of when you're decluttering, and hear me out here, are certain toiletries. I am specifically talking about things like soap, shampoo, conditioner. What I think with these items is you will end up throwing them away and that gets to be wasteful. And if you just have the shampoo and you think like, I hate the shampoo, I'm never gonna use it. Guess what? You can repurpose it for something else. You can use it for shaving cream. You can use it as a body wash. You can even make your own homemade cleaning products from old shampoo. I shave with my old conditioner that I don't like. If you've got soap, I mean, you're always gonna need soap, right? So just hang on to it because one one day you will use up all of the soap that you have and you're ready to move on to the ones that you might have otherwise decluttered. And I know sometimes it's challenging if you've got shampoos and things like that and you don't wanna use them. What I say to that is try to do like a no buy month or give yourself a challenge to not buy for like a year, don't buy any shampoo and see if you can use up everything you have. I did that one year, it was great. I used up everything and I felt really good about it. And listen, if you've got makeup, I'm not saying to hang on to stuff like that because if you have makeup and you hate it and you don't use it, you're never going to use it. So go ahead and get rid of that. The next item is paper products. A lot of times people will buy like extra toilet paper. They'll buy extra paper towels, extra napkins. And when you're decluttering, you think, well, I should get rid of these. I have way too much. Don't do it, just keep it. You will always need these paper products. They will come in handy one day. I ended up buying a whole bunch of paper towels. I think I have like 20 rolls of paper towels in my basement. And after I had bought them, I ended up deciding that I wasn't going to be using paper towels anymore. So now I'm using like cloths or like reusable paper towels, you know, ones that you can wash in the washing machine. It has cut down my paper towel use so much. At this point, I'm using about maybe one roll of toilet paper a year. So I've got these 20 rolls of toilet paper in my basement. Well, guess what? I've got 20 years of paper towels down there. The next thing is items that you only use once a year. A lot of times people think like, ah, I don't use this enough, so I should get rid of it. You do not need to do that. I have, I'll give you some examples of things and maybe you have these items as well, but like a large roasting pan for your Thanksgiving turkey or a gravy boat for your gravy when you have like a fancy holiday dinner every couple of times a year. Or even just like large casserole dishes that you only use once or once every two years. You know, whatever it may be, if you're still using it, I don't consider it clutter and you should keep it. What I am gonna say for these items is instead of storing them in your kitchen and taking up valuable real estate, just move them to another room. I've moved mine down to the basement. I've got a little area in my basement with all of my kitchen items that I don't store in the kitchen because I only use them infrequently, but I still keep them and they're down there. And when I need them, I just go grab them. This one's gonna be tough for some people, but it's stuff that is not yours. I have a personal rule that I do not declutter other people's things. You can get in big trouble doing this, even if it's your own family. So maybe if, if it's your kids and you know your kids can't part with some of their toys and you think they wouldn't miss them, but your significant other, your partner, your husband, your wife, just don't do it. Just let them declutter their own things. People get very emotional and attached to their things. It's just like a really easy way to make people get really mad at you. So my advice, if it's not yours, don't declutter it. What I will say though is a lot of times if someone sees you decluttering who lives with you, it will actually inspire them to declutter. When I did that huge closet clean out a couple, maybe like a year and a half ago, I decluttered so much of my clothing and I didn't even say anything to my husband and he started decluttering his t-shirts right alongside me. He saw me doing it and was like, you know what, it's time. So see if that happens, see if you can inspire someone to declutter, but just don't do it for them. I'm also going to advise you to hang on to like unknown spare parts that you have in the house. I've got a KitchenAid mixer. I need to do something with it. It was my grandmother's and I haven't really used it, but it has all of the spare parts that go along with it and I have it in a bag. My husband 
didn't know what it was and he almost tried to throw it away, which would affect, which would effectively have made the mixer like not as useful. And luckily I stopped him in time. But sometimes you've got these spare parts around and you think like, I don't know where this goes. I'm just gonna toss it. Just be careful. Unless the parts look really old or something like that, I would say just keep them. Try to figure out if you need them because the last thing you wanna do is throw out a spare part of something that's important and then you can't use the item. This one I think is really important and I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this enough but it's a reserve of items. Sometimes people will say, just declutter all of your towels. You know, you've got five people in the house, you only need 10 towels. Sure, that works for everyday use, but what about those times when you've got guests coming over? Or what if you have like a big spill or a flood and you need a bunch of towels? Are you gonna use the 10 bath towels that you have? Just think about it. I think things like extra towels, extra pillows, extra blankets, extra sheets, it's okay to have extra. You really do need a reserve of these items. I can't tell you, we just had our floors redone in our house and everything was filled with sawdust. Thankfully, I had some extra stuff in the basement, some extra blankets and pillows and things like that that we could just like grab and use in a pinch. Sometimes I have guests come to stay with me for holidays. So it's always good to just make sure that you're not just down to like just for who needs it in this moment because you never know when you might need more. Also, a lot of people tell you to get rid of duplicates of items. You know, if you've got two of something, just get it down to one. There are certain things that it's very useful to have a duplicate. I'll just give you some examples. Maybe you've thought the same thing. But wooden spoons, for example, sometimes I need a couple of wooden spoons throughout the day and I'll be just like cooking and I'll need them. Or spatulas, I definitely use multiple spatulas throughout the day, so we've probably got four or five spatulas. Scissors, we're always looking for scissors. Measuring cups, and not just like kitchen things. Think of like certain tools that you may have that you need multiples of. Maybe you want multiple tape measures. Just something to consider that you don't have to just have one of everything and that always sticking to the rule of not having having duplicates may not work. Okay, I promised that we're gonna get up to the bigger things. So these are kind of some things that I think as we're going along, these are more important things. By the way, guys, check this out. Over 80% of you are who watch my channel regularly are not subscribed. I'm just gonna ask if you could take a moment to click that subscribe button down below. It's free and I do videos twice a week. Historical photographs. I know that we can't keep all of our photos, right? Like sometimes there's just like too many photos, especially if you have people in your family who are like into ancestry and history and wanna keep things. I mean, nothing replaces the feeling of having an old photo, an old historical photo in your hand, looking at your family members. So don't save every single photo, but I think don't get rid of all of them either. Solid wood and vintage furniture. I. If you've watched my channel, you've probably heard me rant about this before. I just find that the quality of furniture is going downhill faster than ever. Fast furniture is like as rampant as fast fashion. People's tastes change. They think like, I'm just gonna buy this kitchen table for five years. If I hate it, who cares? I'll get a new one. I don't think like that. I wanna get quality things and it's very difficult to find really good high quality wood pieces. I've been going on Facebook Marketplace. I love going to the thrift store and looking for solid wood pieces. Although you gotta be careful there. Garage sales often. I just found this really cute dresser for my kids. It's solid wood, it's beautiful. I got it for like $40, I think, on Facebook Marketplace. I just drove over and met the guy and picked it up and I love it. But if you've got this beautiful solid wood vintage furniture and you're still using it and you love it, just hang on to it. Nobody likes decluttering paper. It's just so much paper and you wanna get rid of it. One thing not to get rid of though is the important papers. I am talking about things like birth certificates, marriage certificates, marriage licenses, passports, obviously. You know, these kinds of things, you can replace them if you accidentally declutter them, but it's very expensive. I mean, just to replace a birth certificate is like $80, I think, at this point. So try to keep those important papers in one specific drawer and just file it away somewhere where you know not to declutter that paper sentimental items that you love. I've had a lot of comments on my videos from people who appreciate what I say around clutter and that it's, you can keep some things because a lot of, I just think there are a lot of misconceptions that like if you're decluttering and you're getting rid of things, you need to get rid of as much as possible. You know, you need to really pare it down. But I'm saying if you've got things that you love, if you have sentimental items that you love and you're storing 
and you love them, just keep them. There is no need to get rid of them. Don't beat yourself up, up about it. I would say though, if you've got these nice sentimental items and you're just storing them away, and I'm guilty of this as well, try to see if you can display them. You know, Put them out for others to see so that you can enjoy them and look at something you love every day. For example, my grandmother wrote me this recipe. I will just put it up here. I framed it and I have it hanging in my kitchen right now. There's so many little touches around my house like this. This is just like one example, but if you can figure out how to display these things, it's just great to look around your home and see these beautiful things that you love. I'm gonna say family heirlooms. Now, if you have a ton of these, you don't have to keep them all. However, I think that it is really nice and important to keep things that people have passed down to you, they've passed through your family, and they feel like you should have them. So I'm just gonna kinda go out and say, if you've got a lot of fam family heirlooms and you don't wanna get rid of them, don't. I think family heirlooms are one of the things that you should keep and you can pass it down and save it for others in your family. You can save it for your own kids, save it for your nieces or nephews. You know, if you've got special people in your life and you want to pass these down to, they were kind of kept for a reason and so you, you may as well keep them as well. In fact, here's one example, not that I would ever declutter this, but I have this ring and this has been in my family for many, many generations. My mom gave it to me when I was a teenager. I'm going to give it to my, my daughter. Um, my grandmother wore it, my great-grandmother wore it. That's a family heirloom to me. And so if you've got stuff like that, hang on to it. You don't need to declutter it. Okay, guys, those are my 12 items to never donate. Hang on to them. I hope this video was helpful to you. I am going to go ahead and link a video right here. Click on it and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for watching.